Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Screencasts Online weekly tip video. Spotlight is the underlying indexing technology built into both the Mac and iOS and it allows you to quickly find many different types or categories of information on your device. So let's take a look at Spotlight on the Mac. Spotlight allows you to access many different types of information, uh, run applications, search for things, and it's normally invoked in one of two ways, either by a keyboard shortcut, which is usually command spacebar. I can just say, uh, type in Safari, hit return, and that will run the application for me. Let me just quit out of Safari, or I can use the Siri option. So if I go up to here, say, open Safari. and that loads the application as well. But before we drill down too much into um, using Spotlight, let's go ahead and have a look at how it's configured. So again, I'll use command spacebar and I'll actually type in Spotlight. It's a system preference option. So if I hit return, that will open Spotlight in system preferences for me. Now in this first panel, we can actually uh, check off those categories that we want to appear in our Spotlight search results. So currently everything is checked, applications, bookmarks, calculator, contacts, etc. So these are all the different types of categories of information that will appear in Spotlight search results. Also down at the bottom, we've got the option to allow Spotlight suggestions when we use a lookup feature. And that's for instance, if we go across to Safari, if I actually highlight Eurovision, I control a right click, I get the option to look up Eurovision. That will give me the dictionary definition, but then I also have these options here. So Wikipedia, I can scroll across using a two finger gesture. So I've got news, Apple Music, Twitter, etc. Okay, so that's just a quick way of finding more information when you use lookup. Let me put Safari down out of the way. So they're the different categories, um, but also you have a privacy setting as well. Now the privacy panel allows you to exclude or prevent Spotlight from searching specific locations, whether or not they be uh, specific folders or even entire disk volumes. Now here, I actually have a separate disk volume on this machine. In fact, if I go across to the Finder, um, I've actually got three partitions, three volumes on this machine. I've got Macintosh HD, I've got MBP Data, and I've got my bootable partition, which is this one, SCO HD. So that's the one I'm actually booting off at the moment. So when I do a Spotlight search, I don't really want it to search on Macintosh HD. That's actually a separate partition that contains another instance of Mac OS. So I don't want it to search on there. Consequently, I've actually included it in this list. Uh, if I want to exclude that third partition, if I hit the plus button, and if I go to my machine in the sidebar, and I select MBP data, that's another partition. I'll just say choose. So any data held on that partition is now also excluded from Spotlight searches. Uh, a quick tip, if you want to re-index Spotlight, uh, what you can do is to add your bootable partition into this list and then remove it, and that will automatically kick off um, a re-indexing of Spotlight. And then finally, down here at the bottom, we've got the option to uh, change our keyboard shortcuts. So I'm currently using a show Spotlight search of command space. There is also the option to show a finder search window, which is Alt command space. Uh, basically, if I hit that, Option or Alt Command Space that will produce the finder and drop me straight into the search panel here. But uh, we'll leave that for now. Okay, let's go back to uh, Spotlight itself. My privacy is now all set up. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at some Spotlight functionality. So we'll close down our Spotlight Preferences window. I'll use Command Spacebar to invoke Spotlight Search. And if I just type something in, so screen. Right, so these are all the various options that I have available to me now. So I've got three screen flow documents that I'm currently working on. I've got the screens application, screen sharing, uh, some other applications to do with screen capture, which is a screen capture application. And then if we just move through this list, I've got some system preferences. I'm just using the arrow keys. I can use the arrow keys to move up and down. And I can see in the right hand panel exactly what it is I'm looking at. If I keep scrolling down. I've got some application settings. Uh, web videos, etc., etc. Now this is a PDF that is found on my hard drive. If I want to see the path of this particular PDF, if I just hit uh, Command, you can see the path down here at the bottom. Okay, that's the full path. Uh, if I want to get information on the file, I can use Command I, and that will give me uh, the uh, Get Info panel of that particular file. 
Let me show you one other thing connected with files as well. If I do command spacebar, if I actually type in SEO, right, I've got this file here, SEO icon resize.workflow.zip. Now, were I to hit enter, in fact, I'll do that. Uh, we shall see what happens. It will open the finder, but it is, or it has rather, actually unpacked that file for me. So there's a zip file, and this is the workflow file that was contained within the zip. Uh, perhaps you don't want to do that. Let me delete that. If I pop this down again, if I go back into here, uh, rather than using just enter, if I do command enter, it will open the finder and show me that file without actually running the file. So hit return if you want to run the file, uh, command return if you just want to see the file in the finder. Okay, let's take a look at some other party tricks that uh, Spotlight can do. I mean, we have such things as calculations. So two plus four equals six. Uh, we've got such things as uh, unit conversions. So 100 US dollars and it defaults uh, to British pound sterling, but I can also see euros, yen, dollars, and Swiss francs. Um, if I want weather reports, uh, the weather in London say, gives me a fully featured weather report. I can check on stocks. So there's the current uh, Apple stock. Now, of course, I can use Siri to invoke spotlight searches and I can configure Siri. If I go to system preferences and find Siri, rather than going up to the icon in the menu bar each time, if I go to Siri here, you'll see that the keyboard shortcut is to hold command space. So if I close that down and let's do a quick uh, natural language search. What's the weather like in London? Okay, here's the weather for London for today. Show me my emails from today. There are nine emails received today. So that is using a spotlight search to uh, interrogate my uh, inbox and just pull out those emails that I've received today. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.